Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever watched a great AMV and thought, wow, I want to make something like that, you're in the right place. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to create an anime music video using Filmora 14. It's easier than you might think, and the results can be seriously impressive. Let's get started. The first thing you need to do is gather all your media. This includes your anime clips and the music track you want to use. Ideally, go for high quality clips, 1080p or even 4K if you can get them. The better the source material, the more professional your AMV will look. Try to find scenes that match the mood or emotion of your chosen song. For example, if you're using a dramatic or emotional track, look for scenes with strong facial expressions or slower cinematic moments. For high energy music, go for action packed sequences with quick motion. Once you have your media, open up Filmora 14 and create a new project. Import all your files into the media library. Just drag and drop your anime clips and music into the software. It's super intuitive. I recommend naming or organizing your clips beforehand so you can find specific scenes quickly. Now let's talk about syncing your clips with the music. This is where Filmora 14 really shines. Right click your music track and use the beat detection feature. What this does is analyze the song and place beat markers on the audio wave form in your timeline. These markers show you where the strong beats are perfect for timing your video cuts and transitions. Next, start dragging your anime clips into the timeline. Trim and split them to match the rhythm of the song. You can use the markers from beat detection as a guide to cut on the beat, which adds energy and flow to your AMV. Don't just stack clips randomly. Think about the pacing. If the music speeds up, use faster cuts. If it slows down, let scenes breathe with longer takes. This is what gives your AMV rhythm and emotion. After arranging your clips, it's time to add transitions and effects. Filmora 14 comes with a wide range of transitions like glitch, zoom, warp and fade, which can help emphasize changes in the song. Use them wisely. Don't overload your project with effects or it can feel chaotic. Stick to a consistent style. For example, glitch transitions work great for intense battle scenes, while dissolve or blur transitions fit more emotional or dramatic moments. If you want to go the extra mile, try adding text overlays or lyrics. Filmora's text tool allows you to animate titles, sync them with your music, and customize the font, size, color, and motion. If you're doing lyrics, make sure they're accurate and timed well. This adds another level of engagement for viewers who want to sing along or feel the message of the song. Now we move on to color grading. This is one of the most underrated parts of editing. Even if your clips look good, giving them a unified color tone can make your AMV feel polished. In Filmora 14, go to the Color tab and either use Preset LUTs or adjust manually. Tweak brightness, contrast, saturation and temperature to enhance the mood. A cooler tone works for darker, more serious themes, while a warm tone gives off a nostalgic or hopeful feeling. Once everything is in place, it's time to export. Click the export button, choose your format, MP4 is usually best, and make sure you're exporting in at least 1080p. Set your bitrate high to preserve video quality. Give your file a name that's easy to remember and includes the anime or song title so it's easy to find later. And that's it! You've just made your own anime music video using Filmora 14. 
it's an incredibly rewarding process, especially when you see your favorite characters and music come together in one artistic video. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this, and drop a comment telling me which anime you're planning to use for your next AMV. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.